Hi everyone, in this series we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. Now an input is any element that you want to include into your vMix live video production. And in this video we're looking at NDI. NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and it's a protocol that's been created by NewTek that allows you to send and receive video over a local network. So in vMix this gives you the ability to send and receive cameras, audio, individual inputs, your output to other hardware devices, other vMix devices, and other software that supports NDI. You can also use vMix to receive any sources as well. So I can receive cameras, outputs, graphics from other vMix machines, other encoders, and other software. This is really handy for bringing in graphics from graphics software, cameras from other productions, or sending video across the network for recording and streaming. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add an NDI source into vMix. So if we just go to Add Input, and then we just need to go to the NDI section. Now as you can see here, we have quite a number of computers on our network that are connected via NDI. So I can select any of these. For example, I could select this video here, which is playing on one of our testing machines, and I can bring this in directly to our video production. I could even choose to use the audio as well by turning it on. I'll just close that. We go to Add Input again and then go to NDI. You'll see a whole range of different uh, things that I can take from the network, including um, Premiere Pro that we have here. So Adobe supports NDI. So I could bring in something from Premiere Pro or After Effects or any number of Adobe products directly into my vMix production. So that's really good for live titling and that type of thing, or previewing something directly from the program. Now as you can see below that, I have my laptop set up, and I have my webcam, and I have a bunch of different things including the desktop capture and outputs sending a video as well. So I've got this video here, I'm going to click on it and click OK. So now we've got this video here that's being looped on my laptop, and I can bring that directly in to my vMix production. If I wanted to change that video um, to another NDI source, I can just right click on it and then select a different source. So I'm going to actually select the webcam from that laptop. So here we are, I've now got the webcam that's attached to my laptop and that is bringing in Dan. So what I can actually do now is start using this like I normally would for a video production. So underneath I can use the overlay channels, I can use the quick play or cut, I can use the preview monitor here, uh, I can then also use the input settings. So vMix will see an NDI source similar to a camera. So I can change it, the name, I can change the category, I can mirror it, I can then change the behaviors as well. Now because it's not a video, only the first one will be applicable here. So we have the automatically mix audio uh, tick box. Typically if you're using different microphones, you want to leave that unticked. Um, and in the top right hand corner, you can change the mouse click action to something else. Um, you'll see the resolution that it's coming in at, which is 1920 by 1080, 2997, which matches our frame rate. Um, I can do other things as well, like uh, create a virtual input. Um, and then on the left-hand side, I can do color adjust, similar to what I would do if I had a, a normal camera. Then I can actually also color key this as well. So I don't have a good green screen set up, but we'll just do this here to give you an example. So I can actually set up the set up a chroma key as well if I needed to on an NDI source. I can change the positioning as well. Add it to a multi-view, just like I normally would with a camera. Create triggers for it, tally lights, and if this was an NDI PTZ camera, we could actually make changes here, but that's something that's going to happen in the future, which it might be the future already, so you may be able to do that if you've got a PTZ NDI camera. So that's how you add an NDI source into vMix. It's really simple, straightforward. Just go to the Add Input section, then go to NDI, and you'll be able to see any NDI sources that are available to you. So you will need a gigabit network if you are using NDI, as you will need that data bandwidth to be able to send the video sources back and forth. Now, as we mentioned before, vMix also allows you to send any NDI source too. So you can send cameras, outputs, audio, vMix calls, all that kind of stuff can be sent via NDI and received on another vMix machine or another encoder that accepts NDI. So thanks for watching today. If you have any questions about NDI, feel free to check out our other NDI videos that are linked in the description or check out the NDI page on our website or on the NewTek website. 
Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting VMix tutorial.